art love. So I am very, very, very nervous to put on these jeans because again, my knee is hurt, very bruised, very nervous, but I did get them in a size 24. Normally I tore it, I go for a 22 places I normally do a 20, 22, 24. I, I'm, I'm pretty much a 22 right now. I kind of stick with that because I'd rather it always be a little loose than too tight and 20s can go either way on me. Um, but at Torrid, a 22 is normally solid. So I thought I would try a 24 because why not? Especially as one of these, uh, they are a boyfriend fit pair of jeans. I think we'll start with those. <laughs> Cause I'm nervous. <laughs> nervous to put things on my legs. Um, but anyway, so the first outfit is this cardigan. You guys, I am obsessed. I have been drooling over this cardigan. I could not bring myself to pay full price. So in Torrid, so when I decided to do a collab with Torrid, uh, this was the first thing in my cart. I was like, yes, please, I'm getting that sweater. The sweater is, retails for $85.50. This economy, this economy, $85.50. But Torrid does very often have sales, and I think I bought this stuff during a 35% off sale. Uh, but if you were using their special kind of gift card, you didn't get the sale. <laughs> So it would have been even cheaper. So I would definitely just keep an eye out if you like it for a good sale. They do sales all the stinking time. So this I'm just going to kind of wear as a top, but of course you can wear it open. But because of the limitations of the budget, and I didn't want to go too far over because of course I cannot spend money on like, unless I'm absolutely obsessed, I can't spend money on clothing. But again, I did go over because I needed these boots over here. <laughs> so we're going to try this guy on. And we're going to put it with these boyfriend jeans. So the new jeans are like the perfect fit. Is that what they are? Perfect boyfriend ankle vintage jeans. And again, I got these in a 24. It looks like they've got some stretch. Uh, I think they're both ankle. I did get tall because I am a tall bean and TBH. I don't usually love ankle, but I think ankle is really cute with the little boots. So we'll see how these fit. Normally regulars on me at Torrid are just fine, but I thought I would try the tall because why not? Why not? So here are these ones. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pop those on. All right, love, so here's the first outfit. I actually got the jeans on, not too bad. I do have to keep <laughs> my band-aid. I got this giant band-aid on my knee. It's like poking out of the hole, so I have to keep repositioning it. So if my knee looks weird, it's the giant band-aid poking out of where exactly where the distressing is. Uh, so the jeans, I honestly, I, I, they're comfortable, don't get me wrong, but I feel like if you don't like your jeans loose, I would go with whatever your true size is. So I think that a 22 may have been a better option because as I walk, they do fall down, but they are a mid-rise. So I'd almost rather them be a little too big so that I could pull them up. Again, keep in mind, my normal size is a 22 at Torrid. I'd get a 24. Uh, these ones are boyfriend jeans. And honestly, again, I think that it was all meant to be because for me to get pants on, I'd much rather them be <laughs> not snug. So anyway, I really like the fit of these jeans, even being a mid-rise. I feel like Torrid mid-rise is like one of the few mid-rises that I can actually get down with because it goes above my roll a decent amount. And especially if they're a little loose, I can pull them up. Uh, they're very, very comfortable. They don't have a ton of styles uh, to choose from yet. I am normally just kind of like a very basic jean girl, like basic black, basic indigo. Uh, but I think that these are very, very cute. They've got these interesting pockets. Yes, hopefully I did enough turning around in the video. I might have to get one more shot because I don't know. But the jeans are really nice. Honestly, they're probably one of the best pairs of jeans, like most comfortable that I've tried from Torrid. Okay, if you are a tall bean and you want them to be an ankle, probably just get the regular. If you're like super tall, then you can get the tall and it'll be an ankle because these are like the perfect length on me, you guys. <laughs> Talk about this cardigan. So I did get a three in the cardigan because you guys know me. I love oversized sweaters, cardigans, and honestly, I feel like this is probably, I thought it would be more oversized, but I think once it's open, I'm only wearing a bra, so I'm just gonna leave it closed. But I think when it's open, which is probably the way that I will most likely wear it most of the time, uh, I think it's gonna be perfect, absolutely perfect. I normally, for sweaters, I'll go up a size. Um, but again, I can wear a two or a three towards, so I'm not really going up. I'm like in between sizes, you guys know me, because like their two is an 1820, <laughs> and their three is a 2224, and I am a 2022. So I just kind of go back and forth between the two. It just depends on if they're stretched, all that jazz. But you guys know me, again, sweaters, so comfy. How freaking cute is this? Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? It like checks all of the boxes. It's got the neutrals that I love, because you guys know. But this is gonna be great for spring because the pink does kind of make it a little bit more springtime appropriate. It's very on trend with the checkerboard. Um, I love this, love this, love this, love this. If you 
like it and you are willing to spend the money it's I think it's so cute and I think this is honestly one of the cutest things beyond boots that Torrid has had in a minute when I saw this I was like dang Torrid getting on the trends getting on the trends I almost stepped on base that's why I leaned funny um now let me show you these flats okay I will link these again for you guys because they are still available which is nice I bought them and they were like randomly on sale so these little stretchy flats I absolutely love I haven't taken the tag off because <laughs> at the same time I got these I also got a pair from Amazon and honestly these are so much better quality than those and I just keep I'm just it's an ADHD thing like, I just forget that they exist. And then I'm like, oh man, I need to find those flats. And then I lose them. In my attempt to not lose them, I put them in my filming room. But I just searched all downstairs for like a half an hour looking for these. And then I gave up and walked up here and they were here. So I was going to style something else with them. But this is what I initially wanted to style with this outfit because I was doing like a casual outfit and then a little bit more dressy outfit so I can incorporate those boots. So these are just some little flats. When it comes to flats at Torrid, I do go down a half a size. So when it comes to boots at Torrid, I do a 10. When I, in flats, I'll do a nine and a half because a 10 in flats is way too big for me. They're, they are true wide shoes. But keep in mind, when I go to like Walmart, like my Walmart boots are size 11. So I normally, I think I'm like a 10 and a half true size roughly, but I've got wide feet. Uh, so it really just depends. But at Torrid, a lot of you guys say you go down a size two. So I go down like I don't know. I I'm not buying shoes anywhere else. I'm really bad at buying shoes until like Torrid came around. So when it comes to Torrid shoes, maybe go in and try on a pair before you order online if they're not available in store, just to be safe. You know, just to be safe. They don't have a terribly large selection in store, I've noticed. Um, but if you're looking for just like a very basic pair of black flats, I really, really like these. And I'm actually really going to switch over to them. Um, I will probably shoot some content in these too because they, I have a bunch of dresses I want to shoot for Valentine's Day. And I think that black flats are timeless. There are cat hair already all over these. I better pack a lint roller. I also wanted to show you these, but guess what? I lost the other one. How these have been sitting in my living room for how long? Um, this is the last version of the brown boots that they had. So I also think that these would be really cute with this outfit. Just so you know, they do have, they have restocked brown Western boots, but I think they're slightly different. I think they're the same as these embellished ones, but brown. Uh, but I thought I would just show you these so you can get an idea of what they, what they look like. So imagine this. Yeah, they're definitely a little bit taller. You can see that these are taller. So I'm assuming uh, because these are listed under the same link as the hot pink ones that I have. I'll actually pop in a picture of the hot pink ones so you guys can see what they look like. Absolutely obsessed. They are so, so much fun. I feel like the first couple minutes wearing them, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to wear these? My feet hurt. And then my feet, like, I don't know. I just, I think it's my arthritis and my muscles and my feet not being used to being in this type of shoe. Uh, but whew, now I'm obsessed. Now I'm obsessed. So I do think the new ones are a little bit taller, which I do like. I just want all the Western boots, you guys. I want all of the Western boots. Um, so these are absolutely amazing. Sadly, the silver right now is sold out. They do have white though, and the white look absolutely freaking beautiful. And I really, really want them, but I cannot justify spending that full price on them. This is the reason why I went over my gift card because I was like, I have a little bit left. I'm going to get the boots. I'm going to get the boots because I just couldn't leave them. And then I panicked for a minute and then the 10 sold out. So I had to get a 10 and a half, which I know they're going to be too big. Um, but honestly, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. If I have to wear a little sock or something, it'll be fine. They were just too cute not to get. These are like dream shoes right here. This is probably the cutest pair of boots I own. What I really like about these um, is that there's like multiple sizes. There's like two different sizes of little gems. So cute. So they do have these exact, this exact pair in white with white gems, which I wish I could see in person because I bet they're absolutely breathtaking. That last I just looked, they had the full size run. This full size run is gone. Um, as of right now, sometimes Torrid will, Torrid, I can't speak at all today. Sometimes Torrid will restock boots. Sometimes they will not. It really just depends. It really just depends. I don't know who's, they should though. These are absolutely insane. And honestly, to get this kind of boot for that price, because Western boots are so expensive and this one is literally bejeweled all over it. So I am, I'm obsessed with you, boot. I'm obsessed. So I had to ramble about those. So next we have the perfect skinny jeans. Um, so these ones I also got in a tall, a 24 tall. So these are the perfect skinny jeans. So I got those in a 24. I did get this top in a three. I just aired on the side of like, I don't know. Cause you never know, you never know. I didn't know if there was gonna be stretch or not in this top. And I just wanted to make sure that it fit. 
because I'd always rather if I'm shooting content for a brand I would much rather have it be a little bit too big so I always err on the side of slightly bigger normally tops I do a two um, unless it's like a sweater or like a flannel non stretch situation uh, but this little black lace top I thought was so gorgeous and I thought it'd be fun to pair the jeans I wish they were a little bit darker but they only had so many options in this pair of jeans with these boots okay I'm gonna stop yakking because I feel like I just talked for way too long about boots and shoes so I'm gonna put those on carefully I'm very nervous about these skinny jeans and I'll be right back <laughs> okay so sad news I assumed because the pink boots fit me um even okay so I have a thick ankle my left ankle was injured when I was like oh my gosh early 20s like maybe teens I don't know like forever 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 ago probably early 20s um and now I have arthritis and like forever this ankle is just way bigger and ha probably was bigger before it was injured but it's constantly swollen plus my knee is swollen um so even in the pink ones I needed like help from Alina to get them on but I got them on I don't know partially this is the very last thing I'm filming today I've been filming for a few hours and my knee of course is still swollen so that could be part of it but the likelihood of me ever getting this one on my left foot, this one fits fine. Fits fine. Zipped it on my own. My right ankle is just like chilling. My right calf is just chilling. My left one is just like, nope. It literally got to like here. So I might try that whole, I don't know how it'll work with the uh, sequins on there. But honestly, if I have to just like add more or something, I might try that boot stretching situation that was all over TikTok because I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I'm at least going to still go shoot in them and worst comes to worst, I'll Poshmark them. Um, shoot, they're so cute. They're literally like the cutest shoes I've ever bought in my life. And they're like dream shoes. And the fact that they don't quite fit my ankle, I really hope it just sinks because all of the other ones have like a little bit of elastic and these don't. So if you have a really wide ankle like I do, maybe skip them. I have like a really wide angle. Uh, boo, I'm so sad, girl. Okay, so these pants are definitely too big. So I feel like these run larger than the other ones. So do with that what you will. I wish I'd gotten a 22 in them, but again, it's fine because it was probably easier to get over my bruised knee today. <laughs> they're very comfortable though. They just want to fall down. And I think it's, it's probably bugging me more because they're skinny jeans. So they're a little bit more snug on the legs. So the fact that the waist is too big, um, that's why they're probably pulling down and that's probably what's bugging me more, but that's okay. Especially because, too, they are mid-rise, and I've got that long torso. I prefer a high-rise every day, but, of course, these are the jeans that they wanted for the campaign. So, of course, I'm going to try them. And if you are a mid-rise babe, I really like these. And, honestly, again, I feel like they're a little bit higher than a lot of normal mid-rise. Uh, but that could also partially be, too, that they are a size larger than I normally wear. Uh, but, yeah, I really like them. And then this top. Super cute. I think that the three was probably the right one. I think a two would have fit because there is a few inches of extra room around the waist. Uh, it does have a zipper, but I just put it on over my head. Binks is laying <laughs> right in front of me. Uh, but yeah, it's super cute. I really like the lace on it. Let me get you a closer shot of the lace. It's real cute. There's little stretchies. And then it's got like the sweetheart neckline. So this is very cute. Big bummer on those boots, but... <sighs> You live and you learn. I really wish Tord would make them wider. It just stinks because a lot of straight size babes get cowboy boots and like they're oversized and amazing. And then here I am. I just feel like I wish that they would have made them a little bit looser. So hopefully the next time they launch some, they'll be a little bit looser. I feel like that's a consistent complaint even in the comments was that like the top of the boot isn't wide enough because we all want like clunky cowboy boots because that's just what, what's in more than like tight fitting boots you know what I'm saying um and I know that we already have wide ankles wide calves if you're shopping at Torrid a lot of us plus size waves do not all of us any of you guys that are like blessed with non-chunky ankles oh, I'm so jealous <laughs> if you guys have bought any western boots from anywhere and like they're actually like super wide width let me know because I'm on a mission and I am obsessed if I have to be jewel my own I will do it. <laughs> um, all right, love. So that is everything for this little tour haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry it's not that big of one, but let me know if you did. Um, definitely some fun stuff. The boots are amazing. I just wish... I'm going to try again, obviously, when my leg's not as swollen. That could be part of it, but I know... If I could get it up like another inch or two, I think it would be fine. I'll just leave it slightly unzipped. That's fine. <laughs> and I think that on a day where I'm not so swollen from my injured leg, it should be fine. But... Still so bummed, but they're absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, and again, I 
I would say like 90% of Tord boots will fit my ankles. Not always though, because I really do have, they'll always fit this one, but I would say 90% will fit this one. So I, I tend to get the ones that have a little stretchy, but I think I was just so excited about these bejeweled ones that I just grabbed them. And I didn't even think to look, is there stretch? Like is there, which makes sense that there might not be stretch, but I think they could have put stretch on there. They could have put a little thing on the inner, you know, if you guys have any tips on how to fix these, <laughs> let me know. But anyway, again, everything is linked down below in the description box if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. If you made it to the end, if you made it to the end, if you made it to the end, leave a little sparkle emoji, the three little stars that look like sparkles. It's like if you type in glitter under emojis, it pops up. Um, we'll leave that down below for the boots. Or, or... <sighs> Or leave the little cowboy emoji, the little smiley face with the hat. That might be even better. Maybe both. Maybe leave both. That could be fun. But anyway, I think that's it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you could. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's be friends. I think that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being so patient with me over the last few weeks. Yeah, I have so much fun stuff to film for you guys. Uh, and since I was shooting uh, the reel today, I thought I would just share these with you anyway. Because why not? You guys love Torrid. I love Torrid. We love Torrid here. So anyway, <laughs> I love you guys so much. I will talk to you soon. Bye. And then, where did I put those? Where did I? Why am I losing my mind? So options. I guess I'll show you the shoes after. Because I just lost the flats somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. Shit, my battery thrice dried up, baby. <laughs> We're surviving, surviving, surviving. Especially when it comes to fall. <sighs> it's too far away. Fall, you're too far away. <laughs> Whew, I feel like I just talked so much. That was a lot of talking really fast. Breathe. Yes, you. I know you know your name. You're the only cat I've ever had that immediately responds to his name. He literally just looked at me and then kept digging. All right, probably be more. Works. Like, you know how a lot of, like, straight size babes get cow- Excuse me. I'm trying to burp. <laughs>